Threats to schools across the nation this week. So are school threats on the rise? According to the National School Safety and Security Services Research, the highest threats happen from August to December 31st of 2014, up 158% over the year before nationwide. Now, more than a third of those threats were sent electronically via social media. About 30% of the schools evacuated and 10% closed, many unnecessarily. Now, as far as across the nation, Ohio topped the list of school threats followed by California, Pennsylvania, New York, and Florida. The actual concerns for uh, law enforcement, uh, emergency managers, the intelligence community, are the threats that you don't know about. The majority of the threats that you see that are communicated, either computer, uh, one of the uh, social media outlets or stuff like that, or even a phone message left on a school phone or a district office phone, most of those tend to be hoaxes. So at what point do you shut down school or cancel school after a threat? Has to be a credible threat. And uh, that's, that's an easy thing to say, but there's a lot of work that goes into determine whether a threat is credible or unfounded. And that's a lot of uh, investigative time. It's a lot of uh, research analysis, but it is a credible threat before you want to try to do any interruption of a business or a school day or anything like that. Now, Mike Turner, who you saw right there, says that's the key right there, a credible threat. And what law enforcement and people like Mike worry about is the hoaxes and, and of course, the ones that are not reported. So they say what to look out for if somebody's acting suspicious and they're not reporting something like this or making a threat. You want to go ahead and report that to the school or to law enforcement. We're live in Somerville. Megan Dice, News 2.